survived 100 days in the new 1.21 snapshot in hardcore Minecraft, exploring the new vault dungeons, new mobs, and killing off every boss in Minecraft. Except I'm not alone. Will I make it to day 100 or die to an armadillo? Well, in the next 100 days, that'll be put to the test. Starting from day one, within the treetops, I spawned it. After exploring for a bit, Okram found some underwater ruins. Oh, there's a chest in here. Got some stuff. Oh, he just tried it. Oh, not a good thing though. No, no, it's not good for the environment. Are these? No, wait. I think these are um. Get a chest. Get a chest. Yes, yes. You can find archaeology with these. But that's not what we want. We want. Look at my hands. Look at my hands. What is that? Is that treasure? Uh, uh, uh. Treasure, booty, women. We gotta go find it. Which gave me a fishing rod and some other starter loot. This was looking like a good start. This also gave us our first treasure map, which led us sailing the sea. Unluckily, it was nighttime and we waited until day two. Days two to five. After waiting a bit for it to be daytime, just in case, because we didn't want to get jumped by mobs while getting the loot, we ended up getting some iron, a sword, and a few more items. My goal was to get some gear and tools going so that I was prepared for some of the new additions they added this update we also spotted a shipwreck in the distance but not too much extra stuff inside of it like nothing oh another treasure map yeah i think it just leads to the same one yeah. what biomes do dogs spawn in dogs mm -hmm. are they in the new snapshot they're dogs they've always been in minecraft no 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 is there new dogs like completely new dogs yeah we were so done with the ocean that we went out on foot to explore a nearby savannah these savannas in 1.21 now actually house the armadillo which was voted on in in the mob vote, the one that everyone hated. But there's another use for these armadillos. Right, let's go find it. You're stinky, though. Dude, it's not stinky. Deep. <gasps> armadillo! Armadillo! Wait, what the hell? There are armadillos? Yes, 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 yes. Wait, come here. I actually Wait, did not think I found one. Right here, I'm right here. Find you. Look at it, look at it, bro. It's like a walking turd. <laughs> a walking turd. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh my Wait, God. Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't okay, hit it. Okay. Don't be stupid. Okay. I don't know how to get the shoes. Let me look it up. I think it's a, it's a hoe. Like right click it with a hoe. You sure? How do we make a brush? Yeah, we need one copper ore, one feather, and one stick. Oh my god, look at the little baby armadillo. Yeah, it looks like you ugly and repulsive. What the hell? Look, uh, a village. Maybe we can find tame. <laughs> I killed it. You stupid. Alongside this, we killed a chicken, got a stick, and some copper. Putting it all together, we got ourselves a brush, which let us brush armadillos for armadillo scoop. That was a little funny, but this will help us create some armor. We'll see you in a bit. Seeing as the sun was going down, we took shelter by the village and slept the night carefree like a newborn baby. In the morning, we realized this village was filled to the brim with cats, and Okram wanted to get one for himself, so I helped him get one. Wait, there's a cat here. A cat? You want a cat? Nah, oh. actually... Only if it's a black cat. You have fish? I'll go fish right now. I do not have fish, but I have a fishing rod from the treasure. Please, 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 please drop that cat. Please, please. No, no, no. Why are you wasting it? No. What are you what? doing? I got... I I was getting the cat. I need... I need... I need fish. Oh. Okay, but don't... Don't... Don't let him go yet. <laughs> don't let him go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it tugs him, by the way. <laughs> it's just attached oh, to him. Oh, okay. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Work on that. I'm gonna try finding a dog. Let me know if you have one. I wanna get one just to put the arm on it. Okay. Jealous of him having his own pet, I wanted to get a pet of my own, and that's when I explored this nearby jungle, finding a wolf. I did need a bone though to tame this wolf, but when it became nighttime, I killed some skeletons. Using the bones from the skeletons, I tamed my first pet. Hey, one bone! Naming him Ombre. I'm gonna name mine Alfonso. Alfonso? Okay. Um, you know what I'll name mine? I've been learning Spanish. I'm gonna name mine Hombre. Oh, I'm gonna name mine Hombre. It's, it just sounds cool. All right, come on, Hombre. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Are you, are you being serious right now? Are you yeah, I'm gonna name him Hombre. <laughs> After securing a better friend than Okram could ever be in this challenge, I ventured in search for a place to make a base. Okram, on one hand, was begging me to live in a mangrove oh, biome for some reason. So we went out to the find one. So we get frogs the here and like make them breed to make like a frog empire. And if we force feed it shit, it gives us lamb. It does, doesn't, wait, this is so tiny but it ended up being too small but okram insisted that size doesn't matter Bigger? oh my god it's like a sliver what we, we might have found like the smallest one in like human history <laughs> wait maybe but the I other way maybe if we go the other I way guess we, <laughs> I this guess is sad out, dude bro. like a dying infection or we could just see, like i want to see what's on this side because if it's the same on this side then yeah we could look for a different one 
Regardless, we ended up finding a second one, which was even worse. So we went with my idea to live in the jungle after all. You want some good news or bad news? Good both. Good news, more content for you. Mm -hmm. Bad news, remember those skeletons I told you that spawn in swamp? Yeah. They also spawn here in the main garden, right behind you. That's when we got some unwanted company. They're not. Yes, he he's right here. It was oh, the, the new hell? skeleton, the bog Yo, skeleton, which I bald. called the shroom doom. Ew. It's fitting. He's got a mushroom on his head. Dude, I'm not so prepared for this. Core. What do you mean? So cottage core of it. Hell. Ew. Wait, that's kind of cool though. Kind of has like that overgrown feel. They haven't like the last of us. With that taken care of, I caught dibs on the middle of the lake because I was going to build something themed around the new snapshot mob. All right. So I think for this build, you're going to need one of make yourself more useful than a uh, lamp. Yeah, go mine up some gravel, gravel specific. This is what the kids on Oblock call a breeze, a new Minecraft mob that uses the Rasengan to blast its enemies away. And I was gonna build it in Minecraft. If I wanted any chance pulling this off, I would need to grab some concrete, some light blue flowers, and mush it into some dye. Let's get to work. Found some blue flowers, but definitely not enough. So putting my masculinity aside, I started picking some more flowers. I even ended up finding an acacia village. Found some maps and slaughtered a big chunky guy. Finally, I managed to get the flowers I needed. Made it into dye, and the last thing I had to do was make this concrete hard. This was done using water, and with that, let the build begin. I wanted this build to look good, not just okay. Okay. So I really worked on the outline and the main box head in the middle just so I can stuff my victims inside of it. Me. I'm, I'm talking about me. I'm the, I'm the only one staying in there. And I guess Okram if he decides to pull up. But you're probably wondering, what was Okram doing during this time? He was making a fishing dock for him and his dog. Yep, that happened. Besides me thinking that I killed Marco's dog, we had another thing I wanted to try out in this new version of Minecraft. You see, during the time of this recording, it just happened to turn April. And with April coming around, there was a new Minecraft snapshot so on days five to ten we explored and found this new potato pedestal what is that thing what the heck can i break this i don't know if i should it's like mess this stuff up oh, potato what? shrine and we need a stinky potato i mean try standing on it hell no you try standing on it but you need a stinky potato you're a stinky potato uh -uh. found potatoes are they stinky no explain to me why this mangrove is so much better than the one that we live in yo i found one i found one i found one I found yeah. one. okay Little did we know, this was a lot more than a simple joke. What the heck is this thing doing? I don't know, bro, but it makes me feel kind of nauseous, bruh. Which is what we kind of expected it to be. And before we knew it, a rift had opened in our world to a different dimension. Oh. Is this a dimension? It looks a little different here. Bro. Wait, that, that was a, this was a thing in the green, right? Beginning screen. Potato sprouts. What is going on? I, I don't no know. Way we got, no way we got the potato run before GTA 6, bro. What is going on? <laughs> Dude, Whoa, what? Wait, <laughs> why are the trees broccoli? <laughs> wait, this is so cool. They can do all this, but they can't make three mobs into the game. Upon entering it, we found out that it was every potato lover's dream. A potato dimension. It's the new April Fool snapshot, and we had to try it out because it honestly looked really sick. Our goal here was to explore. So not too far in, we found our first potato civilization. It was housed by a villager, and it was gonna be the way we got back home because there was a potato pedestal there. You know, this little potato civilization was kind of fitting, seeing as I do make civilization content. Okram ended up spotting a castle in the distance. Adamant on heading over there, we traveled to see what the heck he was on about. It was a dud, but we did find a pile of ancient debris. Tempting, but I felt like it'd be cheating if we decided to take that, seeing it was kind of a meme update. We're here to experience this dimension, not abuse it for the hundred days, no matter how much Okram begs me. There was in fact a dungeon here that could be found Found. No, I'm not talking about the under island mine shafts, though they're pretty much a cool thing on their own. I meant the Colosseum. But for us to find the Colosseum, we had to get poisonous potatoes and make them into eye. Yeah, I'm not kidding. We crafted them up and followed them until we reached our destination, the Colosseum. Gotta go there, go down there and find out. Kind of looks like a retextured uh, bastion. Yeah. I'm not cool. sure if I agree with it. You don't think it's a bastion? No, I know it is a bastion. I'm just not sure if I agree with the, with the use of it. Now I know what you're thinking. This is literally a retexture of a bastion. You're right, it probably is. But it also housed one of the strongest bosses currently in Minecraft, the Spud. This guy is a menace. Oh, oh my. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Quick. Uh, how? Yo. Do you want me to be oh. like 
As we can hit him with his own fireballs and could one shot us in our current armor. We're so underprepared. Let me see. Can my shield take a hit? How much durability? Oh my god, it's like a sixth of it gone. We can't do this fight, dude. If we wanted to stand a chance against him, we would need to get ourselves some netherite. Not from the piles of netherite. We're gonna get it legit, okay? So don't worry. Mark my words. I will kill this boss in this playthrough, even if I have to risk Okram for it. But it was a fight for future us to worry about. Exploring a bit more, we encountered the wildlife here, known as Toxifin Slabs. These silly little guys, they blast us with toxic beams. And it's used to make a very powerful tool, the Lashing Potato. This thing single-handedly made me Minecraft's one and only Spider-Man. And they did say that with great power comes great responsibilities. Oh, I was kind of left with very low amounts of hearts. I should put this away. I got myself back to a village and wanted to leave my mark here before heading out. So I spent quite a bit of time gathering wood and making a treehouse many would call Minecraft's greatest innovation. Then I used a poisonous potato to get back home and made a chest to store our potato adventure stuff. That way I'd never forget this traumatic experience. Went up the water Away from my frost walker build and grab some of the stuff I left behind. Phase 15 to 20. It was made apparent that my gear wasn't strong enough, let alone for the potato dimension or some of the bosses that I'm gonna have to face soon. So the mines I went to. I got myself a bunch of iron, diamonds, diamond tools, and even diamond armor. It was literally just a bunch of grinding. With these upgrades taken care of, I began to mine up some of this obsidian so I can make myself an enchantment table, but more importantly, so I can make myself a nether portal. When I had enough, I headed back to my base. I thought I was ready to start hunting down my first trial chamber. These trial chambers were added to the 1.21 snapshot, which actually gives copper a whole new use. Not to mention, adds the creature that I base my house off of. Ooh, more diamonds. Mind this up. I don't really need any more diamonds, but just in case, I'm gonna just explore around a little bit. Ooh, okay. I should actually grab some more of this gold. I saw a creeper. There you are. Get out of here, buddy. I'm gonna try seeing if I can make some golden apples with this. Or yummy diamonds. Get some. There we go. The hell is this thing? Own brick? No way I found the stronghold, bruh. Tough bricks? What is that? What the hell is a tough brick? Hold on, bruh. What am I looking at? There's gotta be something new. Oh, I should have read up on what this thing actually adds. Yo! Wait, I think I saw something about this before. Huh? Wax off. Honey. Heroes. Okay. I don't know what that means though. Wax off. Yo, yo, I'm so confused right now. Hold on. Oh, huh? no way. Yo, this is kind of sick though. Oh my god. I'm surprised there's no mobs in here. Like pots and stuff. Amethyst in there too? Gold. Straight up gold. Okay. I don't see any mobs. It's pretty like well lit. So I don't think anything could spawn here. Unless there's a spawner somewhere. A little room over here. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, it looks like it's like barely basic loot, but we were here for that new weapon. It was known as the mace. I was a bit nervous, especially seeing the hordes of zombies spawning here, but we clapped back. Stop if I light it up. Nothing too crazy. Deal with a little zombies. Stupid undead. Put torches, bro. Stop spawning. I'm tough. I guess that's what the bricks are made out of, right? Once we found. How is this thing? Oh, trial keys. Wait, wait, wait. I remember. I remember my friend talking about these. Apparently, if we put this, I believe, into this. Oh, am I tripping or what? Not going to there. Okay. You're picky, huh? All right. Where does it go then? Now, it opens something. I saw like this thing up here. So I think I'm gonna just like check out what this is. What a cool structure. I'm kind of glad they use like the copper and stuff for something like useful for once really glad about that this has to be the trial key thing okay I'm gonna take my key or what ignore me what am i doing wrong what the heck am i doing wrong completing these waves gave us keys from these spawners which could be used on some of the vaults to get ourselves some valuable loot keep in mind there's two versions of this the basic one which gives you basic loot and then the ominous key which gives you better loot ominous keys were kind of rare and i still didn't know how to get them yet this vault didn't have anything special and i'm talking about the keys and we wanted to get some better gear so i had to do the walk of shame back to my house set up an enchantment table and made a wee little 
metal sugar cane farm. These armor trims were put onto my chest plate and way cooler than anything Okram could make in his life. Decided to make the nether portal as well and began enchanting so I can prepare for the nether. Sure, it's normal Minecraft out there, but it's still one of the deadlier dimensions, so I wanted to be more safe than sorry. Phase 20 to 30. I entered the nether looking around to find myself a nether castle, which is where we'd find blazes. If you remember one of my goals, it was to kill off the bosses in Minecraft, the ender dragon included. Probably more important too than the other ones. So the blaze hunt began. It didn't take too long till I got all the blaze rods I needed. All that was left was the ender pearls. On my search for some, I encountered a bastion, which would be perfect if we wanted to get some gold, and that's exactly what we needed. Shortly after, a ruined portal was there as well. Uh, hey, that's more beginner loot at this point. And you might have noticed I'm actually doing a couple of these things alone. That's because I could have used Okram's help here, but he was busy texting Eevee. So I had my friend Rasby fill in for his place. Oh man, gold was used for trading with piglins. Not only did it give us the remaining pearls, but I stacked up hella on arrows too. That's when we sped back home. One of the best gifts I could have possibly asked for in this entire 100 days. Ombre, a homie's back. After that, I made more of the wind gust that that's around breezes and left Ombre sat down in a pit because I didn't want him dead. I was going to protect him or didn't want him running away again like he did last time. Days 30 to 40, I found a village in an unexplored area, which let me restock the food that I used up on our nether adventure. Another biome we came across was the cherry grove biome. Pink trees. I like the pink trees. Even though it was a 1.20 edition, it was still refreshing to see despite the fact that it was small. It's okay because size doesn't matter, right? We discovered a nearby jungle as well and lucked out with a jungle temple. Jungle temple. First person's there's, uh, I don't know, let's race, let's race, let's race. A winner. Oh, ow, oh. I broke my leg. Oh. I don't have a water bucket. You think <laughs> I'm gonna die? Watch this. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they just jumped into a ravine. What the? Um, why are you robbing the poor? I mean, you kind of... <laughs> The server's entire population. Technically, I'm robbing the world. Did I set up all these traps off so you die? Oh. No. Or will I die? Can we blow this place up? There's bones. You can get a dog. <gasps> bones. Ow. You are so dumb. In here, unbreaking more bones. Yeah, you can actually get a dog if you want. Give me some bones. Here you go. Like 10. I think that's plenty. Yay. You want a jungle dog? They have jungle dogs. Yeah, that's the dog I have. Honest I texture. want a jungle dog. Oh, oh jungle I dog. one. Yeah, okay. Ah! And with one. Okay, wait. I one. got my dog with one bone. You got your dog with one bone. Marco got his dog with like 12 of them. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to be best friends forever. Yeah, he hates him. Another structure we found was a desert temple. Looted it and it honestly wasn't great loot. A nearby village was also found where we got to find our first camel of this 100 days, which also ended up kidnapping okay. Raz. Wait, we're moving. He's moving on his own. He's taking me somewhere. Adrian's help. Oh. I'm being taken away by the camel. You're getting kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Legally, I'm not responsible for anything that goes on in this video. This could be like a crime scene. And with that, I went back to why I even started this 100 days. To explore the new 1.21 edition. So me and Razvi went back to hunting down for some more of these vaults. And try getting ourselves some maces. Days 40 to 50. With a lot of bad luck, we finally ended up discovering vault number two. Being Razby and Okram's first vault themselves, we were pretty hopeful. We even got to fight some more of the new skeletons. But despite getting lucky enough to get some iron keys, we still had no luck on getting the mace. We were kind of butthurt. So let the vault hunting begin. Oh. I'm jumping down. Oh, wow. Okay. They do a lot of damage. Be careful. There's so many of them. I'm healing up. Okay, nice. We need to break the spawner? No, 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 no. The spawners give us loot. Don't be stupid. If we kill the waves, the spawners give us stuff. Oh, it's like infinite arrows. They're dropping poison arrows for me to shoot at them. You think the poison affects them even if they're poisonous? Yeah, yeah I think so. It affects us. It should just appear when the wave's done, but not all of them give Wait, stuff. Did we miss one? Well, this one dropped blocks. Oh, there's still one down here. Ow. Okay. Where'd he go? Hey. Get him. <laughs> nice. There's Your also pearl? silverfish stuff. Oh, oh, oh the no. pot's a... Uh, oh, shoot. Death the pot's dropped stuff. Death by silverfish is a bad fate. Oh, I think we, we unlocked some something? Chicken. Yeah, I hear, I hear something dropping. Things. It dropped some food. Oh, that's oh. whack. You gotta go deeper. Yeah. I, I Wait, thought why, I was why don't we do this one right die. here? Oh, I didn't bring my keys with me. Oh, yeah, there's a keyhole. Oh, look. If you look inside, there's like loot. There's diamond armor and stuff Oh, they, there. these are the bolts. Mm. These are the bolt chests. Yeah, we need to get rid of some of these mobs, I guess. I don't really see any spawning. Oh, there's a mob spawner up here. I activated it. Yep, these yeah, guys again. 
Careful. I think it might be worth making doors. I'll go make some. Okay. Why do you want a chicken, bro? It's fun. Look, a baby yeah. chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh my god. You are going to be a dead man. I don't believe that. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Stay please and maybe I'll consider oh it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the? What the hell? I think oh, the, so the spawner's so above. So oh, a key. key, key, key. I got two keys. Yeah, I got one. We found another vault after a while. And within there, we found this thing called ominous bottles, which would make the mob waves we face in these dungeons like three times harder. But this is also the only way we can get ourselves the ominous keys, which is used to open the upper tier vaults. And without much trying here, we got ourselves the ominous keys. But despite us unlocking these higher tier vaults, still no mate. Our confidence in getting a hold so this dang mace has been bleaker and bleaker by the minute. Phase 50 to 60. We finally found ourselves another vault. It felt like we were sweating trying to find these things. This vault consisted of slimes and baby zombies and even found ominous keys here as well. Around two of us each. And I even lucked out with my first 1.21 enchantment, the wind charge. It's specifically for the mace and can only be received through these trial chambers. And right when we were about to lose all hope, I got it. Oh my god. Rasby got what took us almost 20 in-game days to find. The mace. She was down to give it to me since I wanted to try it so badly. With this, I decided to go home. Enchanted the mace with density and breach achievements. Not only this, but I decided to enchant up whatever I could, really. Alongside this, I trimmed up with the wave trims we got from the trial chambers. This got us dripped out like crazy and made me confident enough to take on the dragon. So we began following the eyes of Enders. It's kind of nostalgic having to to do one of these more survival oriented 100 days again i've been making back-to-back -back civilization videos and it's my new style of content it's fun and all and i've tried you know here and there on different challenges but at the end of the day i started youtube doing these 100 day challenges you know it's been a long journey not only with this 100 days challenge here but with youtube as a whole we recently hit 350k which is a crazy number and i never thought i'd be able to keep doing this for this long i am be real hope you guys stick around for when i hit a million on this platform and there we were the stronghold we found our way to the portal lit it up and in we went oh, right, let's make this quick guys of course marco made the enderman mad i did it on purpose the hell masochist Look, i just wanted pearls but it didn't drop it because it was fat are you not shoot through them no not you, these you oh, i didn't bring enough arrows for this i just realized you want some of mine <laughs> five stacks yes please go thank you you're so rich yeah, I've been stacking. Dang, why is my aim so gas? What the heck? Oh Raw saying shuriken. Raw saying shuriken. Raw help saying me. Marco, help me. Hey, buddy, looks like you're in trouble. Use your shurikens, please. Oh, oh my. Wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. And at last, we killed off the dragon. Headed over to the end islands where we were on the hunt for an elytra. We headed home in preparation for the upcoming bosses we've yet to complete. Day 60 to 70. I did not forget about Spud and how big of a threat he is to the world of ours. We were gonna beat him. But first, we needed netherite if I ever stood a chance. So I began to mine netherite using beds to blow up the area and uncover the ancient debris hiding beneath my nose. They made upgrading netherite so much harder. Harder. Now that we needed these things called netherite upgrade templates, it's just a headache and a half. This led me having to find another bastion where I lucked out finding two of these netherite templates. These netherite templates can be duplicated if you surrounded them with diamonds, and that's exactly what I did. Using that, I crafted up my netherite set, and I felt powerful. Due to Okram still texting Eevee instead of recording with us, I was able to get way ahead of him progress-wise. Alongside this, I needed a looting sword, because the next boss I wanted to face was the Wither, and also... I I was through mining at the moment because those vaults did a number on me. My quest for wither skulls began. This was gonna be dread. After ages of killing withers, I finally got my first wither skull. After this first one, for some reason, my luck just completely increased. The other two were not that hard to get. All right, one steady, two, three, four. I'm gonna just get a little bit more just in case. No, I don't know what we need the soul stand stuff for. And let's get back. After getting all three, I headed back home after this grind. I missed my friends, so I took a break until they got back on. Day 70 to 80. Our next goal would be totems. I didn't trust myself or the people I was playing with to actually survive, especially on the later on bosses or against Spud. It was like this challenge got three times harder with the more people that was around. This is ridiculous. But we found a pillager for it, which is where we got the bad omen effect from. If you guys don't know, this effect enables raids at 
villages. So when we found a nearby village that was completely innocent, we decided to put the innocent bystander community members here at risk for our greed. It took a while till we finally got some harder mobs, such as the Ravagers, but more importantly, the Evoker. The Evoker was the thing that dropped the totems that we needed, and I got a hold of my first totem. Then not too long after, I got a hold of three, and then five totems in total. We were rich in totems, but we may need some more. As our goal here to get totems was successful, the raid itself was unsuccessful, because all the villagers that we were meant to protect from the raid in the first place had died. He's not heroes, bruh. Yeah. Uh, that's a bit awkward. Moving on from the potential case of treason, we went home trying to make some golden apples. I wanted to head out and see if we could find ourselves another village to raid, but what we ended up encountering was a woodland mansion. It was perfect for our totem hunger. We got even more totems, and for some reason, this woodland mansion was so much easier than the freaking village. Does that make what? During all of this, Okram got into his Joker arc and decided to burn the house down. Oh my god, Mark was burning down the place. Why do we bring this maniac along with us? We also found a desert temple on our way back. You looted the chest, bruh. Oh no, my know, gosh, look at, look, at the, look at the mansion from here. It's so, like, beautiful. Oh, wow. And burning. <laughs> You're a criminal. Yeah. Atmosphere. You know, we didn't have to do any of this. <laughs> Days 80 to 90. Our goal was to fight the Wither. We have totems, golden apples, and even Mason. All right, y'all ready? I think it's about time for the Wither fight. Yeah, I wanna kill it. There was a clip that went viral on Twitter of a guy literally flying in the air when using the mace against the Wither. And I wanted to give that a shot myself. And with this, the Wither has been summoned. A little close to the house, but we'll manage. Wow, such a pretty view. Hey, shut up and fight, bro. No, good, thank you. Oh my god. Well, I have places to go. Sorry, I'm grabbing some arrows, guys. I'll be back. Are you serious? Good luck, Adrian. Okay, I'm oh my god. <laughs> I'm coming back. Don't oh, worry. Oh my dog is low key fighting it. I see it. Yeah, I hope you're gonna die, little boy. No, dude. There's armor. Probably got better armor than you, bruh. Plus 10 armor. Yeah, he's kind of strong. I'm low. I'm so low. It's okay. I'm I'm helping! My boat's putting it to work. Someone bring out the maze and hit it. Yeah, that's real, bro. I'm trying, but like, he's so high oh. up that I like... Ow, 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 ow. I'm hitting him. All right, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh! Yo, high key, bring it to me. Bring it to me. Oh my quick. god. Wait, that was, that oh. was cool. Wait, the maze actually works pretty well. It does. Ow. It, it works really well. Oh. Wow. Whatever. Get him with yes! him. Yeah! Dude, what? <laughs> we ended up giving it our all. We had one, but at the cost of Ombre's life. Where's my dog? Is he alive? Ombre. Where'd you go? Parrot was blown up by Creeper. <laughs> what about mine? He was killed off. He's been here since day two of the 100 day challenge. Now I had to make him a grave. Honestly could have gone better. And it was our lack of positioning that led to his death. So we were to blame. With this, I knew I had to finish this challenge for the sake of Ombre. So the boss after that was the warden. The way we locate the warden is by finding an ancient city. And the only way to do that is by mine. Kind of remember why these challenges were so tiring before. I'm getting the relive. I don't know how I feel about it. Phase 90 to 100. After a bunch of mining, I finally found myself in ancient city but we were a loud bunch so the warden ended up spawning in just our luck multiple wardens have been spawned in i hate this game i hate this game mommy where you at alfonso are there two of them yeah <gasps> i'm here but i'm scared alfonso i'm scared they need to eat so bad but they can hear the eating no there's only one warden no they can be like infinite i think we need to okay so i think here's the plan we need to isolate one and we beat him to death yeah okay yeah 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 Do you see one yeah i don't know where they are oh i see one yeah, yeah yeah it's going after marco okay so it would have helped if there was like a cave that was open to us um then we'd be able to make like a pit trap you know what i mean even if it's a pit trap can it like shoot at us maybe be careful there's big bad men out there big mad men that want us dead alfonso but you and me alfonso we'll make it we'll make it out of the hood we can make it out of the old block basically the warden's gonna like fall into there oh all right so you need red why? How it works is it attracts the warden by making automatic trap doors. And it's a it's a redstone clock. Oh, but can't we just lead it into here? I mean but that's like the riskier way, right? That's that's like a hell you worst hella risky way, bro. But I mean if you if, if you it works, personally it works. If, if you personally wanna do that, I mean be my guest. Dude, I don't have any redstone. Maybe there I has might. to be somewhere around here. 
God. Yeah, careful, careful, careful. I just made a big mistake, guys. What are you I doing? I just made a big mistake. There's like 40 spawners back there. Worst case scenario, just lead him into the trap, okay? Even if it works backwards. Should I start, I'm start reading the trap door. You need a sensor for it to hear it. Yeah, it's hearing it, it's hearing it. Why are you in the middle of it, Marco? Get out of the trap. Oh, it's, a, it's right behind you. Mark, Mark, the trap is right behind the trigger. Do I need to attract it? Yeah, but the problem is, I don't know where exactly it is. I see it, I see it, I see it. Should I try to hit it? Can I shoot it with bow now? Oh, that's where it is. I'm hitting it. Uh, wait, we can. We might be able to kill him. Oh, it's we working. can't see him anymore. I can't see him anymore. I, I have darkness. Oh, he ran. Uh oh. Oh! Careful. He's in lava. How do I get to be able to see? I can't see anything. Luckily, one of the wardens didn't have too much luck, leading him being stuck in a river. What are the chances of that? Giving us one of the easiest wins I could ever ask for. After escaping their wrath, we'd think all the bosses in Minecraft were beaten, but there was one more still remaining. There's only one thing left to do, Adrian. What? You know what build, it is. Build a, build a beacon? Yeah, we need to build no, a beacon. No. We need, to, we need to beat the boss. Yeah, we do. Who's the boss? Most notorious person in the whole wide world the mafioso the man who could beat goku in a 1v1 he's a trembling force against all of humanity able to bend the will of any person with his pure inky. what but first we make a beacon and then hit day 100 yeah. and then we can afford to die if we die that was spot so we made a beacon at home and traversed back to the realm of the potato boss but and on day 100 this is it guys this is what we've been training for all our progression, oh, who's added, growling our progression him? added up to this. Spud. You don't want to know who Spud is. Yeah, he's not to be messed with. We began to challenge him head first. Shooting him? Oh, oh. My God. Wow. Oh my god. I think that there's probably like a method. Probably a method to beating him. Okay. Beating him has like you thorns that take out everything that I have. No, it, it's because he, he has um he has the, the anti aerolator. We have to go in and hit him? He's turning turning up something. Oh wait, I forgot the fireballs. We can hit him with his own ability. He'll take hella damage. He's like a gas. Treat him like a gas. Like a gas with a really OP blast. I hit him. It did nothing. No, but it literally does no damage to him. Like oh my here. Oh, how do we beat Spud? This boss had multiple phases. We had to kill off the lackeys for Spud to lower his defense. We need a potato peeler too. This is the only thing that can do damage to it? Maybe. This isn't a for sure thing. You want me to try? It does plus 10 damage to potato mobs. Yeah, go in there. Heal him. Heal him. Oh, I'm, uh, guys, I'm cooked. Guys, I'm cooked. Uh, wait, he doesn't have a shield anymore. He doesn't. I shoot him. We're damaging him. What happened to his shield? I don't know. I think we gotta kill him. Oh, Wait. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Marco, you might have peeled his shield. Oh, yeah. I'm a good peeler. Oh, it's back. It's back. It's back. Ow, it's back. Oh. Did you die? Yes. So the strat is to kill his minions? Okay, now he has strays. Yeah, see his name changes based on the mob that he spawns. Hey, that's the gimmick. Killed all the strays. <laughs> Make sure there's no oh. strat. There. Nice. Down! Get him! Be careful of the 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 guardians. Does the potato peeler do like a ton of damage to him? Probably. It's back. It's back. Now it's Creeper Kingpin. Kill the creepers! I don't have any more gapples. I feel like my cannon that's about to come soon. Alright, it's down, it's down. Go peel him! Peel him! No, it doesn't do that much. You. It really doesn't do that much. Okay. Oh, wait, does he? Don't hit him anymore. Oh, be careful, it's Pignum, Piglin Brutes. Wait, does that mean what? it's gonna like- he, What if he spawns like a, a wither or an ender dragon or something? Like the last phase. Oh my god. I think that's the last one? Yeah. Small! Nice! Hit him! Get the crush on me, oh. <laughs> This is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. Shoot him! So He's bouncing like crazy! Yo, we probably should have got that spawner, bruh. Oh yeah, my he? goodness. Yeah. So small now. I can't no, hear anything. Look what, look what he spawned. What the? You guys hear anything? You think it's the creatures? I hear a lot of things. I don't hear a thing. I think maybe there's too many mob sounds. Get the guardians. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's almost dead. Dude, these poison things are getting so much of my health. His shield's still down, right? Yes, it is. Can you come help me chase him around? I thought it was in the middle. Right here. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Where is he? doesn't shot a fireball in a minute. All right, yeah, I'm going to do it. I can't mind these. Oh, I found him. Oh, 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 oh I'm up. in the middle. I'm oh, my God. Rasby died to Spud. All that remained were me and Okram. 
It was right in the middle when they all spawned. Giant? I mean, the giant oh, zombies. It's the oh. giant zombies. Oh, I see. They, they one shot you. They do so much damage. But at last, we managed to kill him off. We got him. Oh my god we protected the overworld and the potato dimension ending our 100 days in 1.21 i killed okram for being annoying in the recording my channel began as a 100 days channel so if you guys do want me to keep making more of these videos let me know in the comments below twitch spawn this one what happened